What's up, guys? It's your guy, Weto, in line with YouTube community guidelines. If you aren't over 21, we ask that you don't watch this video. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Weto's World. It's your guy, Weto, my man, Chef Neff, and we're coming back at you with a new Munchie Monday. On yes, today's we episode, we are going to dive into the Blueberry Pie Chocolate Bar, 100 milligrams from Masia Valley Extracts. So we want to shout out to my man, Ken, and the whole team doing the damn thing, holding us down and helping us Hell out yeah. get some of these damn good candies. So without further ado, my man, Chef Neff. What do you see? Oh, what is it? What right. is this bad boy made of? What are we dealing with here? Okay, so this is going to be the same candy melts that we had uh, from the original beach chair chocolate from them. Okay, run that run that video back one time if you haven't seen it yet. Yep, so yep, okay, yep. go watch that one if you haven't. It's a good one. Uh, so this one is actually an exclusive for Do What I Want Industries. You better believe it. Them. Uh, so as you can see, it is teal colored. Hey, uh, that's you know it. not necessarily from that blueberry flavor. That's, that's true. That is from specifically uh, them making them dying it. it. Yeah, them dying it. Yeah, and everything boy. For us. Um, they've added little pieces of graham cracker, correct? Is that yep, what they've It has a little in extra there? crunch in it, as we've been yeah, told, yeah. too. So that'd mm -hmm, be a cool. Mm -hmm. Will that help uh, separate, or not separate, but s snap? Snapping on mm, that? Does that do a thing to that? Not really. That snap's really coming from the consistency of the bar itself. Um, but you're going to get that kind of crunchy bit. When we bite into like it. When we bite into it. You're going to get a little bit more difference in texture, which I think is nice. Kind of like those stone ape ones that we had. Uh, yeah, those are good. Yeah, too, those so. ones. Like, so, like, all the cookies on that. And this is kind of that, but with graham cracker um, from what we've been told. Um, cool. So... Basically, time to break into They got this. the embossing There's, and everything as yep, they got the per THC use, per on needed. There. Yep, cool, yep. cool. Let's smell this baby. What do we got going on? First test. Ooh. Well, first test, I guess, was the visual. Second yeah. test would be uh, the smell. Smell, smell test, which is, yeah. let's get the ASMR. <laughs> oh, you sniff oh, so good. That does smell really good. <laughs> I know, right? It kind of it kind of gives me more of the beach chair vibe. Still, kind of that like uh, I get like a vanilla, donut. yeah, like yeah, a like, vanilla e taste. But mm -hmm, is that because mm -hmm. it's a candy melt? You said think, not think, chocolate, right? So yeah, so I think that it's just the the, the candy melt uh, flavor is there, and then the blueberry is going to be what we really smell. Like I kind of smell like berry ish, but that mm -hmm. yeah, that, there's a berry. That's, that's, Peaches that, and cream. That vanilla ish kind of smell is just really that's really good though. Yeah, it's no, not very like it. vegetal as you as you call it. The the cannabis yeah, in I don't it so. Smell no, and this would be this would be from distilled or no these are these uh, are live rosins, rosin, yeah. <laughs> oh, so these are gonna fuck us up. Yeah. Yeah. Not mad about that. Okay. And any yeah, any key solventless, ingredient? Solventless can cannabis oil. So, hey, it is rosin. Yep. so yeah, mm -hmm. this is gonna this is gonna have. So and then the dis the difference between distillates and and rosins, mm -hmm. real quick. Can you give them like a. Uh, Ten so second breakdown difference. All what right. Would that be? So difference between distillate and rosin. So distillate is going to be a uh, like a con like a concentrated THC uh, used using solvent, something like a, a liquid uh, CO two or butane. Uh, it washes over. It dissolves all the THC in the trichome head. There you go. It washes out. You evaporate off the stuff from the. You basically bleed the high pressure system. You pour out your concentrate. Let everything come out and. So that doesn't necessarily make straight distillate. Distillate is specifically like THC, um, like just like by itself, from what I understand. Okay. Um, there's a little bit more there, science going on. But then, there's, on, and but then yeah. there's, uh, the rosin and resin is the biggest difference. So resin would be like the CO2 and everything if you uh, extracted directly from, um, like you chop that plant down and then you process it to Boom. make uh, extracts. That's live resin. Um, and then uh, rosin is where you press it between uh, something pre the pressure press yeah. one? So, oh. so a solventless extraction on that one. And so you you always have uh, both sides of the of the coin. The the extraction method with the liquids definitely extracts everything earlier on, and so it can help you preserve certain terpenes if you're looking. Hey, for and that's the or, terps, the terps, or cannabinoids, baby. other cannabinoids too. Well, uh, the terps are what we taste, right? Terps are what you taste, but you do taste everything else. Anything that is dissolvable um, in the in your saliva is actually able for you to be tasting. Um, oh, so shit, son. if you can't taste something, that means that your uh, saliva is not at the required pH or tech or whatever to dissolve that said material. Interesting. And that's the same with when you put too much fucking sugar in Kool-Aid and there's too much sugar at the bottom because it doesn't dissolve uh, it, right? So it's, yeah, it's not dissolving it, which that means that you have a saturated liquid and that's a different thing. So you dissolving as much sugar as can ex be accepted into the water at that temperature and pressure. And then uh, if you were to heat it up, you could dissolve all of that. And then 
if you get it down, Jesus Christ. Yeah, <laughs> if you bring it down, there's a lot. Too. Yeah, there's a lot of science in that. Okay, well then that's good. And then, yeah. and then yeah. after all that is said and done, then we get this cool ass fucking till candy melt. Right? They process it. They get all the good stuff out of the flour without all that vegetation. You don't have to worry about chlorophyll. You don't have to worry about combustion. And so it just kind of, you know, makes it a little bit more of an easy consumption method. Did you say chlorophyll? Mm-hmm. More like borophyll. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking little Nikki. Happy happy <laughs> Gilmore. That's Happy Gilmore, I think. But anyway, oh, that's Billy, well, that's Billy Madison. Madison. Even even <laughs> one of the better ones. Even one of the better <laughs> ones. Well, to that, too, then, then let's actually go dive into this bad boy. Take oh, yeah. a taste. See where it's at. Give you guys the review. You already know we're going to give you the 15, 20, 30 minute, whatever hour reviews. And you'll know how the blueberry pie from a Sea of Valley Extracts taste. So oh, yeah. stay tuned. Your guy, Weto, my man, Chef Neff. We'll be right back. What's up, guys? Your guy, Weto, my man, Chef Neff. Let's test this damn thing hey. out. What do we got here? All right. I'm breaking it in half, but also in half the other way, too, because I'm dumb. <laughs> Worries. There's two for you. Two for you, two for me. Three. Three. All right, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 50 50. Ooh. Run it down the hatch. Let's go. Messia Valley Extracts, thank you very much. Mm-hmm. I'm getting the consistency. Ooh, wrap wrapper. That's pretty good. Yeah. Taste the blueberry in it. Got that snap. Mm-hmm. So that's good. Even with it being hot as shit out here right, right now. I'm melting literally. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in a chocolate for me. Right? But I like it. That's good really graham cracker crunch in it. I don't yeah. taste the vegetable in it. I'm liking it. All right. I'll be right back. Yeah, one, two, three. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Your guy, Weddle, my man, Chef Neff. We just got done trying out the blueberry yeah. chocolate bar here, and that is pretty damn good. Yeah, no, uh, good on the blueberry flavor. Uh, you can definitely taste, and you can feel that crunch from the, the graham cracker and everything. Yeah, in I like there. the graham cracker bit. Cra- yeah, cracker. The cracker. Graham, the mm, graham cracker. cracker bits in it definitely help, I think, kind of separate from a lot of the other ones that we've tried because they give you a little bit more of a Textural difference. Something so else is in here. What is this? Yeah, yeah. I like I like having the difference in textures. Um, I think it kind of made my mouth a little bit more watery. Is that, yeah, is that a salivate. thing? Salivate. Salivating. Yeah. yeah, you're salivating a little bit more. You, you kind of wanted more of it, kind of thing. Yeah, that's. I think you're onto something there. Keep adding in the the graham crackers into that. Kind of gives yeah. it a little bit more consistency. Maybe it's a good filler for it. You think? Uh, I think just having because candy melts can get a little bit monotonous when you're eating it. Um, and so I think, and so I think that um, adding a little bit of textural difference, like they could even put like nuts or anything like Ooh, that in there. Too, they, right? they ground up some nuts in that. That'd be stupid oh yeah, like good. some like almond slices in one of those mm-hmm. would be pretty damn good. I'm not uh, mad at that. So, well, per usual, you guys already know we're gonna hit you guys with the reviews as mentioned before. So we'll hit you up with a, probably like a good 20, 30 minute one yeah. since these are edibles. Let's yeah, give it a little longer. <laughs> Let kick it sit in. So for a little bit. We'll hit you guys with a thirty, and then we'll come back again with about an hour and see how we're feeling. But. Per use, your guy Weddle, my man Chef Neff. We'll be back. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Your guy Weddle, my man Chef Neff. We're at you with a 30 minute update. Yeah. I mean, it's in there somewhere, right about there, yeah. 30, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. But yeah, so. I'm pretty relaxed. Nothing crazy. Nothing yeah. too wild. Still on the normal side. Heavy. We do smoke. Daily, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but um, but in terms of like like effect, this is you know nice, not too heavy. We both had fifty milligrams. Um, it's a pretty bit, good dosage pretty good too. Pretty good dosage on that. Um, in terms of like if if you're looking to be operable, on, yeah, on definitely. <laughs> as, as a as a novice, and I would I would do maybe like ten twenty. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. And then fifty might be too much. Kind of get you fucked up, especially well, if fifty. You will put you, else. Fifty will definitely make you go to sleep. Right, so we're hoping that it'll kick in a little bit more for us. Um, I think it will. They've, yeah, they've been good from a, the to us with and the Missoula Valley. Like it, so, like, uh, like in terms of, of effect, like it's definitely right there with anything else that we've had. The same same effect as like the last ones uh, that we had. Yeah, I think it's about time we start upping them dosages, baby. Possibly. But y'all yeah. let us know what y'all think. What should we do in the comments? Let us know. But. I think uh, where we're at is a pretty good spot. We're at about a 30-minute update. We'll come back at you again in about an hour. 
45 okay. minutes an hour, see what's up. So stay tuned. Ow. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Your guy, Weto. My man, Chef Neff, over here. Holding it down. We're giving you all the... We're going to go ahead and hit you up with an hour, yeah, an hour and a half hour. update. Yeah. yeah, somewhere in there, an hour and 15, something like that. But final update here on this uh, blueberry pie, blueberry pie, chocolate, chocolate bar, bar yeah. from Sea Valley Extracts. 100 milligrams, 50 each to the to the dome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How you feeling? Where you at? Where you uh, think? I'm feeling good. Um, I would say it's pretty much just spot on with the uh, beach chair that we previously reviewed from them. Consistency. Um, good yeah. consistency. Uh, so... Pretty good, and no complaints from me. Uh, flavor was good. Uh, you know, I'm, it's basically plateaued out at this point, and it's kind of just riding the wave. Um, I feel like that's a good. It's a good. Yeah, yeah. I'd say it's a good good ride, considering we're not floored. Yeah, we, we do. We do intake every day, so I would say we have a good tolerance. Yeah. But this one is. It was good, tasty. Um, yeah, had a good color. Mm, so yeah, you know I'm for that one. That too. And we are the only ones holding it down, so we do appreciate that. Yeah, thank you, Mister Valley Extracts. Yep. Um, so where are you gonna read the? Where are you rating this bad boy? Uh, I don't remember what I rated the beach chair. I was up there too. That was a good one. Yeah, I was gonna say good. yeah. Like I would say it's pretty bang on with that. Um, yeah, like like an eight eight point five. I think is probably around. Like what? What I uh, I gave the yeah, other one too. Solid um, eight is hard on that one. Yeah, I'm, like, not I'm still mad feeling at that. it behind the eyes and everything, but it's not a crazy, crazy high yeah, or anything. Not stuck, so not, not yeah, Florida, like, good, good in intro into it. I would say good. I like yeah. good color, good taste, consistency was there. So mm-hmm. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the. I'll go with the eight. I'll give. I'll give them the eight. That's nice, a good. Nice. That's a good. Good playing fair. Yeah. Good playing field. <laughs> playing fair by the by the rules too, and it was good too. So I can't be mad at that. Yeah, I don't. I'm um, yeah, I'm with it. Yeah, I think that it's a good product. Um, <laughs> definitely come on by. Uh, yeah. You already know exclusivity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know we're holding it down with those bad boys. So mm-hmm. come see us, seventeen seventy South Hill Shore, doing the damn thing. Hell yeah, your guy Weto, my man Chef Neff. Till next time. Cheers.